after people. There is no crew to maintain Wrigley Field. These vines have flourished here since 1937. With no groundskeepers around to give them their monthly clipping, the ivy threatens to overrun the whole stadium. Five years after people, the ivy has crawled up and blanketed the stands. After decades of wild growth, Wrigley Field is almost unrecognizable. Ivy repels up the scoreboard as it crumbles under a siege of termites. In the infield, buckthorn, a thick, dense shrub, is taking over. Tangled, thick nets of spongy buckthorn have grown to 20 feet high, shutting out the playing field. Nature conquers the subtropical city of Houston in a different way. In the time of humans, it cost an estimated $500,000 per year to maintain the Astrodome, the first domed baseball stadium in the world. Once kept at a steady 72 degrees, Houston's great domed sports stadiums now swelter to 125 degrees in the summer. They have become enormous bat caves. Feasting on insects, the bats make their own contribution to the new ecosystem. Their excrement, or guano. Guano has a lot of nutrients in it. And so what you have is people have insects that feed on the fungus, bringing in predators that eat on those insects that eat the fungus. After a century of neglect, the entire structure is cracking and crumbling. Finally, in great chunks, the 9,000-ton steel and lucite dome comes raining down. The Georgia Dome, Atlanta's premier sports stadium, must fight an opponent it has never known. One month into a life after people. Outside Atlanta, an outbreak of kudzu is starting to spread freakishly. The vine was brought to the United States in 1876 from Japan for farmers to feed their animals and for erosion control. It was a mistake. It can grow up to a foot a day, so you can have a 60-foot vine where you had nothing. With no natural enemies in the region and no humans to contain it, kudzu starts wreaking havoc. The weight of the vines alone on the roof of the structure would probably cause some collapse. They would cause the windows to break. It would certainly take off any awnings or shades or anything that was on the facade of the building. <laughs> 